Now, today's top stories and Power of 5 weather from News 5, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. Hello everybody, I'm Tracy Carlos. Here's a look at today's top stories. A six-year-old boy is dead after a shooting at a Cuyahoga County Hotel. Brooklyn police got to the Fairfield Inn and Suites just after 7 o'clock Saturday morning, responding to a 911 call placed by the boy's mother. The woman can be heard telling the dispatcher that someone shot her son in the head and stomach 30 minutes prior while she was sleeping. She says she doesn't know who the shooter was, but when she woke up, she tried to take the gun from him and got shot in the hand. Brooklyn police and BCI are investigating and police say they have made an arrest in connection with this case, but have not released any names. They tell us they will release names and more details once that person is formally charged. They also say there's no threat to the public. People taking steps in Akron this afternoon to call for an end to gun violence. The Akron March for Our Lives event went through downtown. They want lawmakers to take action on gun reform. Former Ohio State Senator Nina Turner spoke at the event, telling the crowd that we have to all come together to put a stop to this violence. The event featured several speakers, including local politicians, organizers, and a national group called Moms Demand Action. And starting on Tuesday, the Wolstein Center will start allowing walk-up appointments every day from 8 in the morning until 7 in the evening. If you want to schedule an appointment, we do have a link to Ohio's online vaccine portal on our News 5 app. All right, time now to check in with Ramesha for a look at our forecast. Well, if you're going to be out and about enjoying the second half of your weekend for Sunday, I think most of it will be dry. But if you're heading out tonight, you will have to deal with some spotty showers off and on as a couple of systems pass, one to our north and one to our south. So it's mainly going to be light rain that we have moving through for tonight. I think most of it tapers off by early Sunday morning. First half of Sunday, we'll have some thicker clouds, but then by the afternoon, those clouds will start to break up. And yes, there will be some sunshine to enjoy, but it will be a bit cooler for your Sunday. Down to 46 tonight, so you may need the jackets as you head out and enjoy your Saturday night. Cloudy and cool, some scattered light rain building through, so grab the umbrellas or some other form of rain gear before you step out the door. As we go into Sunday morning, I think by 8, 9 o'clock, most of that rain will be out of here. A little cloudy for the first part of the morning, but by the afternoon, we're talking about more sunshine as those clouds break up. But it will still be on the chilly side. In fact, tomorrow we're only going to climb to around 50, 51 degrees for the afternoon, but the cooler weather will certainly be short lived. In fact, as we go into next week, I think we really start to heat things up. Tuesday looking to be the warmest day of the week, likely up to 80 degrees. So it should be fairly mild for Wednesday, even into Thursday. But by 8 p.m. Thursday evening, of course, the kickoff of the big NFL draft that will be in town. It looks like temps will be right around 60 degrees, but unfortunately, there's a decent shot at rain. I wish I didn't have to say that, but I've got to tell you what we're seeing with our models at this point. Yes, there could be some wet weather out there, maybe even a few rumbles of thunder, so prepare for that. Also, temps will be falling, so bring a jacket if you're one of the lucky few that get to head out and enjoy the festivities live in person. All the wonderful, fun action out at the NFL Draft in Cleveland this year. So that will be kicking off Thursday. Before then, we'll have to deal with one cooler day on Sunday. Highs only in the low 50s, rain ending early. Big jump with the temps, though, for Monday afternoon. Sunshine, middle 60s. If that's not warm enough for you, look what happens Tuesday. We go all the way up to 80, so well above the norm for this time of the year, close to 20 degrees above normal. Enjoy that warmth. Maybe get in a little beach time, some park time. You'll even have some warmth on Wednesday, but with that, we'll have the better shot for some showers and storms Wednesday afternoon and evening. Even more rain and storms likely for Thursday with temps close to 70. Of course, the NFL draft kicking off Thursday evening around 8 p.m. We'll be watching that closely because it looks like there will still be a decent shot at some showers around. Spotty rain for Friday as well with temps getting a little cooler in the 50s. And then we're back up to 62 by next Saturday. It looks like we will start to dry out by then. But overall, prepare for the warmth on Tuesday and then some rowdy weather, some rain and storms by Wednesday and Thursday. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.